night on planet Earth. Hey, stop pretending you're David Attenborough. Tonight on Man vs. Wild. Better. I'm Bear Grylls, and we're here in the wilderness of southern Zimbabwe on today's episode of Reptiles. With me here is guest star Kobe Bryant. What's up, guys? For those of you who don't know, Kobe is a famed basketball player in the NBA. And the reason he has been picked for this episode is because of his tenacity on the court, which has earned him the nickname Black Mamba. And for those of you who don't know Bear Grylls, he is a famous wilderness explorer who has a whole cast of people to film him and is famous for drinking his own pee. And personally, between water and pee, I choose... What in the world can that be? What? Where? I don't see anything. There, right there. Oh my goodness, it's a black mamba. This here is a deadly snake in Africa. It can grow up to four and a half meters in length. And if bitten, it can kill you within six hours. Like all snakes, the black mamba is a carnivore. And like all reptiles, it's a straight consumer. You definitely want to leave this monster alone. It's very quick and dangerous. Wow, just like me. No wonder they named this snake after me. Right. Notice the scales on his body. These... I got this, cud. Don't worry. The scales on a snake form a watertight barrier that helps retain moisture, allowing the snake to survive in extremely dry environments for extended periods of time. Right. And all reptiles have scales, or scutes, which are... What's a scoot? I was just getting to that. Scutes are more protruding versions of scales. Like Kobe said... You mean Kobe Bryant, a.k.a. the Black Mamba? Kobe, you really need a scale back here interruptions. As I was saying, scales and scutes help form a watertight barrier for reptiles to last longer without water. Speaking of water, let's go hit up some caimans! To the Amazon! Whoa, look at the size of that thing! What? What? Oh my god! Yup, that's a caiman, alright. These babies can grow up to over 6 meters in length. Uh, pretty sure it's an alligator. No, alligators don't have a fourth tooth that protrudes over the upper lip. It's a caiman. Then it's a crocodile. No, crocodiles only have a few teeth going over the upper lip, and you can't see all of its teeth. A caiman, you can see almost all of its teeth when its mouth is closed. Like that one. It's a caiman. Well, either way, all caimans, crocodiles, and alligators are part of the crocodilian family. Crocodiles are the largest reptiles on Earth and are one of the most fearsome. They have large, super duper powerful jaws that aren't meant for chewing but for snapping and crushing. They eat anything they can catch, birds, fish, and in Africa are known to take down wildebeests. These animals are strict carnivores and are extremely tough and clever. Like me, everyone knows that I'm tough and clever. That's a load of crock. Anyways, crocodilians are vicious hunters. They have massive eyes that take in a lot more light than humans, giving them good vision during the day and night. They have a keen sense of smell and hearing, and when they're resting, they appear as logs that for some reason seem to attract any small critter in movies. Yeah, like in Princess and the Frog, and they had that big alligator that could play trumpet, and then there were the two little frogs, and then that turtle I kept getting flung around. Good idea, let's go look at turtles! Do you want to frog on the way? Frogs aren't even reptiles, they're amphibians. Are we taking your car? I would, but it got towed. It's a pillow. It's a pillow. It's a pillow bed. They're huggable pets that pop open into full-size pillows. They're soft, they're cuddly, and they make perfect pillows. Mom's oh my god, it's very close to my idol. I don't know what it's like to pick my own teeth. Dude, you're hella weird. Hey. I think we're late for school. Oh, oh shoot. Let's go. Some reptiles are viviparous, like some vipers and lizards. 
This means that they bear live young. Regardless, reptiles only fertilize internally. Yes, Marianne? Um, I read somewhere that reptile eggs are amniotic. What? Very good, that's right. The fact that reptiles lay amniotic eggs enables them to be laid in extremely dry environments. The shell of an amniotic egg is also waterproof, so no water can escape. Marianne? Uh, Miss Mel, what does amniotic mean? Amniotic refers to one of the four membranes that surround the embryo, the amnion. <laughs> so this is the shell. After that comes the chorion. Next layer is the elantois. Then there's the amnion, which covers the embryo. This is the embryo. And last is the yolk sac. So the amnion is a fluid-filled membrane sac that encloses the embryo, allowing the embryo to develop without much water. Oh, what about the other three membranes? The yolk sac and elantos help feed the embryo and store its waste. The chorion is the membrane that helps bring oxygen in and carbon dioxide out. Um, Miss Mal, but um, if the shell is waterproof, then how can gas be transferred? What is that? Like? While the shell is watertight, it is dotted with tiny pores that allow air, pa air to pass through. But what does that egg look like? Oh, oh, oh! That looks like, that looks like the type my mom makes at home. She can make them uh, scrambled, hard boiled, and sunny side Oh, uh, that's enough, Sally. Oh. Thank you. Any more questions? Oh, Marianne? Um, do all reptile species have uh, two different sexes to reproduce? Two species of, of lizards are known to be hermaphroditic or in possession of both male and female sex organs. <laughs> okay, class. Repeat after me. Hermaphroditic. Hermaphroditic. Thanks for trying, guys. However, when mating, they still need to mate in a couple in order to reproduce. Then both members of the couple will produce offspring. Do all reptiles dish their eggs like turtles do? Oh no, crocodilians and some snakes protect their nests until the young hatch. And some even protect the young until they're fully mature. However, others like you mentioned, turtles lay their eggs then leave their young to grow by themselves. Now, if there are no more questions... Well, what's the homework? I will tell you tonight's homework. Oh, oh. okay. Stop packing up! We still have 6.53 seconds of class left. I, you have to take notes and make notes on pages through 500 to 569 all, all day tomorrow. Class is dismissed. Oh. Hey, you wanna go to my house later and do the work? Nah, I'm just gonna watch, man. This is wild. Can I come? No. Wait, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Okay, uh, bye. Today, Kobe and I travel from the Amazon across the Pacific Ocean to the coast of Australia on this episode of Man vs. Wild. Today, we're searching for sea turtles. Dude, check this out! What? There's a pineapple under the sea! What? No way! <laughs> Oh, look over there, it's a sea turtle. Oh my god, that so totally rocks, dude. Whoa! Dude, I heard sea turtles can be 150 years old and still young. Uh, no, sea turtles only live around 80 years. But Crush said. Who's Crush? He's the sea turtle I met in the East Australian current, and. Anyways, 80 years is just an estimate. After all, no research project lasts 80 years, so no one actually knows for sure how long sea turtles can live. Probably 150. Like all other turtles, sea turtles spend a large part of their time in water, although they continuously breathe air. Sea turtles have been known to stay submerged for 7 hours before needing to breathe. Wow, I can't even go 7 hours without peeing. Like all turtles, sea turtles have a large shell made up entirely of bone, which covers both the ventral and dorsal regions of the turtle. 
This protects its vital organs and gives it a shield against predators. Did you know sea turtles eat jellyfish? They even eat the Portuguese man of war, one of the most deadliest jellyfish in the world. And they don't get stung because turtles are immune to the venom in their stings, and the tough skin on the inside and outside of the mouth protect it from the stinging cells. Sea turtles start out as carnivores when they're younger, but by adulthood become dominantly herbivores, eating seaweed and other aquatic plants. Sea turtles have one of the most broad diets of all reptiles. Sweet. Totally. What the? What are those fish doing? What's that noise? They must be speaking whale. Whale well, sting! That's what it's like, Chris! Get the heck out of here! <laughs> Uncle, everywhere we go, it's like 100 degrees outside. That would be because reptiles are exothermic. In English, please. You are so dense. Reptiles are cold-blooded. Does that mean they can't regulate their body temperature? Precisely. They can only survive in perfect warm environments. They wouldn't be able to regulate their body temperature in colder areas. Oh, sucks for them. Not always. Did you know that because reptiles don't need to regulate their body temperature, they don't need that much nutrition, which means they can survive long periods of time without food. Like if we don't have brains, then we don't need that much food. If we didn't have brains, we'd be dead. It's a wonder you're still alive then. Ouch. It's a good thing you're endothermic. Then you'll be able to recover from the burn I just gave you. Oh look, a lizard. Hey, there's a whole bunch. Did you know that lizards can regenerate their tails? Yes, and sometimes they purposely detach the tails to distract predators. It's very effective. Well, yeah, if I was going to eat you, I'd have second thoughts too if you just pulled off your... Yes, well, this technique of voluntarily removing parts of the body is known as autonomy and isn't a capability that most animals have. Why is he sticking out his belly like that? It's a territorial display. Oh, kind of like how you pee around your tent to mark your territory? Uh, no. Tigers do that. You do too. I saw you last night before you went to sleep. You just walked in a circle while you- Like I was saying, they do that to make sure no other males invade the territory. Reptiles also have a variety of courtship displays. Some show off hoods, frills, or crests. Snakes secrete hormones that attract each other. Is that why you always put cologne on? No. Some reptiles even change their skin color to express attraction. Is that why you always turn red when Emma Watson's on TV? No! Oh hey, there goes the lizard. What? Where's it going? To find food. What the? There's like 50. Ew, bugs. That's what they eat. That's gross. Does that make them insectivores? No, they're carnivores. Most reptiles are either carnivorous or omnivorous, but some iguanas and turtles are herbivores. I just love how they all migrate over to one place to eat. They aren't migrating, they're just moving. Reptiles aren't birds, you dunce. They don't migrate. Oh, well good for them. All that work would be exhausting. Speaking of which, somebody get me a water bowl. What? Water bowl? Water bottle. Yes, a water bowl. Water bottle. Bloody hell, somebody get me a damn water bowl. You European shark, monkey guy. You're a pain in the horse. Pain in the what? Oh my god, I love queer girls. He's so British. <sighs> oh, oh my god, where am I? Oh my, what the? Oh my. Oh no. Oh my god, I have to go to school. I think I was. I think I fell asleep in the toilet. That's nasty. Oh my god, I love bigger girls. Oh. Today we will finish our discussion on reptiles, and then as a reward, you will get a surprise. Oh boy! So let's talk about the effects on reptiles on people. There are many positive and negative side effects that can be explored. Let's start with pros. Can anyone name one? Oh, I got this one. I got this one. Um. Reptiles can be used to make 
built in walls. Stanley, that's so bad! But here's okay. correct. Although some consider it immoral, the killing of reptiles further hides has a positive impact on the economy, as these goods are high in value and demand. Anything else? Um, uh, reptiles are good exterminators. What? Very good. Reptiles eat a lot of creatures that we all find undeniable. Snakes eat rodents and lizards eat insects and spiders. Any negatives? Oh, I have it in my notes. So, um, uh, reptiles, they can spread diseases through ticks, fleas, and other insects that make their home on their backs, like the blood-sucking, uh, what are you Blood-sucking flies that nest on alligators. Oh, and the reptiles can kill you, aka Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is the best. Very good, family. Although death by injuries inflicted by reptiles are actually rare, they can be very dangerous. Reptiles are not to be taken lightly. Well, class, this officially concludes our reptile unit. What's our surprise? Your surprise is a test, but not just any test. This is a pass or fail test, and only one person may pass. This is a part of an annual reptile quiz between two top tier students, funded by the legendary Kobe Bryant. Whoever wins receives $1 million. You have a 50 50 chance, may it ever be in your favor. Take you away